it wasn't but about 30 seconds to the presidential motorcade rounded the corner of Main Street to turn over onto Elm. But right after the presidential car had turned the corner, I heard these three loud noises when I jumped behind the concrete abutment, which is between uh, Main and Commerce. There was a motorcycle policeman that just stopped his uh, motorcycle up by the monument and uh, had drawn his revolver and was racing up the hill to the left of me. Uh, there was a deputy sheriff, which I think was stationed under the underpass, Buddy Walters. At this time, I says, you know, I uh, felt something sting me on the face as I was standing down there. I said, just staying in Walters. Look, and he says, yes, says, you got blood on your cheek. Uh, he says, where were you standing? I says, well, down by the underpass. So we started walking down there. And when Walters got about, oh, I'd say 10 feet away, he says, look there on the curb. There was a very visible mark on the curb where a bullet had struck. Either a fragment of the bullet or a piece of the concrete, it flew up and scratched my face. And he said, go to uh, the city police headquarters and make a statement, which I did. Mr. Tang, this is a picture of D.B. Plaza, <clears throat> as you know. I wonder if you'd be good enough to show me where you were standing when you heard the shots. I was standing at the east end of the triple underpass between Commerce and Main. There's a little concrete divider there. It's about three feet wide. And, sir, could you indicate where the bullet struck the concrete curb? The bullet struck the curb on the south curb of Main Street. It would be right here. And at the time that you first heard the shots, what was your impression as to the origin of those shots? Uh, my first impression was that they had come from the left of me. Would you indicate on the picture where that would be? Up in this area here towards the hill. Where in relation to that wooden fence? Well, somewhere towards the wooden fence. Mr. Tag, on the 22nd, when the shots were being fired, your first impression was that they came from the area near the wooden fence. That's correct. Where do you now think that the shots came from? I <clears throat> believe that they did come from the school book depository because of the, the things I've read about, the evidence which has been brought forth in the newspapers and uh, through the Warren Report and so on. 